Welcome to the top 10 according to AI. In this video, we're going to be discussing the top 10 greatest middle linebackers of all time. Our list has been carefully compiled using a combination of advanced stats, expert analysis, and the latest technology to bring you the most accurate and up-to-date ranking of the best middle linebackers to ever play the game. So sit back, grab a helmet, and get ready to relive some of the greatest moments in middle linebacker history. And don't forget to smash that like button like Ray Lewis smashes helmets at the goal line. Now let's get started. Sam Mills Starting off our list at number 10 is Sam Mills, one of the NFL's greatest linebackers of all time. Mills played for the New Orleans Saints and the Carolina Panthers, spending 12 years in the league from 1986 to 1997. He was a five-time pro bowler and was named to the NFL All-Pro team twice. What made Mills unique and so highly regarded was his size, or lack thereof. Standing at just 5 feet 9 inches, he was often underestimated and overlooked, but he proved time and time again that he was a force to be reckoned with on the field. He was incredibly quick, with a fierce determination and relentless drive that made him a standout player. One of Mills' most memorable moments came during the 1996 season when he famously delivered a pregame speech to his team telling them to keep pounding. That phrase became a motto for the Panthers and is still used to this day. Chuck Bednarik At number 9, we have Chuck Bednarik, also known as Concrete Charlie. Bednarik played for the Philadelphia Eagles from 1949 to 1962, where he was a two-way player, lining up as both a center and a linebacker. He was an eight-time pro bowler and was named to the NFL's all-decade team of the 1950s. One of Bednarik's most notable moments came in the 1960 NFL Championship game, where he made a game-saving tackle on New York Giants running back Frank Gifford, preserving a 17-10 victory for the Eagles. Willie Lanier Coming in at number 8 is Willie Lanier, a dominant force for the Kansas City Chiefs from 1967 to 1977. Lanier was an eight-time pro bowler and was named to the NFL's all-decade team of the 1970s. What set Lanier apart was his intelligence and instincts on the field. He had a remarkable ability to read and anticipate plays, making him a master at sniffing out run plays and getting to the quarterback. He was also known for his aggressive style of play and hard-hitting tackles. Lanier was a key player on the Chiefs' Super Bowl IV winning team, where he had two interceptions and helped lead the Chiefs to a 23-7 victory over the Minnesota Vikings. Harry Carson at number 7, we have Harry Carson, a standout player for the New York Giants from 1976 to 1988. Carson was a nine-time pro bowler and was named to the NFL's all-decade team of the 1980s. Carson was a dominant force on the Giants' defense, known for his fierce tackles and ability to disrupt the opposing team's offense. He was a leader on and off the field and was revered by his teammates for his work ethic and dedication to the game. One of Carson's most memorable moments came in Super Bowl XXI, where he helped lead the Giants to a 39-20 victory over the Denver Broncos. Carson had five tackles in that game and was a key contributor to the Giants' dominant defense. Zach Thomas Coming in at number 6 is Zach Thomas, a standout player for the Miami Dolphins and Dallas Cowboys from 1996 to 2008. Thomas was a seven-time pro bowler and was named to the NFL's all-pro team five times. Thomas was known for his incredible instincts and ability to read the field, allowing him to always be in the right place at the right time. He was a tackling machine, racking up over 1,700 tackles in his career. Despite his somewhat small stature, Thomas was known for his physical play and fearless attitude on the field. One of Thomas's most impressive seasons came in 2002, when he recorded an incredible 140 tackles, earning him his fifth All-Pro nod. Jack Lambert At number 5, we have Jack Lambert, a standout player for the Pittsburgh Steelers from 1974 to 1984. Lambert was a four-time Pro Bowler and was named to the NFL's All-Decade Team of the 1970s. Lambert was a fearsome presence on the field, with his toothless grin and aggressive playing style. He was a dominant tackler and a leader on the Steelers' defense, helping lead them to four Super Bowl victories. 
Lambert's most notable moment came in Super Bowl X, where he had two interceptions, helping the Steelers secure a 21-17 victory over the Dallas Cowboys. Brian Erlacher Coming in at number four is Brian Erlacher, a standout player for the Chicago Bears from 2000 to 2012. Erlacher was an eight-time Pro Bowler and was named NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 2005. Erlacher was a physical and versatile player, with the ability to play both inside and outside linebacker positions. He was known for his incredible speed, agility, and toughness, making him a dominant force on the field. One of Erlacher's most memorable moments came in the 2006 NFC Championship game, where he had an interception and a key fumble recovery, helping the Bears secure a trip to Super Bowl 41. Mike Singletary At number three, we have Mike Singletary, a legendary player for the Chicago Bears from 1981 to 1992. Singletary was a 10-time Pro Bowler and was named to the NFL's All-Decade Team of the 1980s. Singletary was known for his intensity and passion for the game, earning him the nickname Samurai Mike. He was a dominant tackler, racking up over 1,000 tackles in his career and was a leader on the field, inspiring his teammates to play with the same level of intensity and passion. One of Singletary's most iconic moments came in a Monday night football game in 1986, where he removed his helmet and screamed at his teammates, demonstrating his fiery determination and passion for the game. Dick Butkus At number two, we have Dick Butkus, a standout player for the Chicago Bears from 1965 to 1973. Buckus was an eight-time Pro Bowler and was named to the NFL's All-Decade Team of the 1960s and 1970s. Buckus was a physical and intimidating player, known for his hard-hitting tackles and aggressive playing style. He was a dominant force on the field and a leader on the Bears' defense. One of Buckus' most memorable moments came in a game against the Baltimore Colts, where he made an incredible 20 tackles, demonstrating his relentless pursuit of the ball. Ray Lewis and finally, at number one, we have Ray Lewis, a legendary player for the Baltimore Ravens from 1996 to 2012. Lewis was a 13-time Pro Bowler and was named NFL Defensive Player of the Year twice. Lewis was one of the most dominant and charismatic players to ever play the game, known for his incredible physicality, speed, and instincts. He was a tackling machine, racking up over 2,000 tackles in his career, and was a leader on and off the field, inspiring his teammates to play with passion and determination. One of Lewis' most memorable moments came in Super Bowl 35, where he had five tackles and was named the game's MVP, helping lead the Ravens to a 34-7 victory over the New York Giants. And that concludes our countdown of the top 10 greatest middle linebackers of all time. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about some of the best players to ever play the game. Remember to like and share this video with your friends and leave a comment with your own thoughts on the greatest middle linebackers in history. As always, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more top 10 lists brought to you by Artificial Intelligence, and we'll see you next time on the top 10 according to AI.